Right, we've got a Venn diagram here um, showing how many things, how many elements are in each part of the Venn diagram. So it says find the number of so of so that little n there, all right, is the number of things in that what it's what's given there. So um, we've got a uh, union b, so that's a and b. What's in a and b all together, but not that. So anything that is not within these circles. All right, so anything that's not in that, let's add them up. Well, you've just got eight and four. Four add eight, which is 12. Okay, pretty straightforward that. Um, now, if I go to blue, now this is where it becomes a little bit tricky and I'm gonna rub out my workings from the first bit here. Okay, because it becomes a little bit trickier. So what I would do is draw out a little Thing. So here we go, we've got one, two, three. Now, it says I want the number of things that's in A union C, right? So A and C, here we go, there, okay, but not that. Oh, crumbs, right, you see, it says not that. So you've got to be really careful with this, All right? So I better start that again, All right? So here we go, we've got one so anything that's not in a union c so here we go so this stuff is not in a and c okay and then i'm going to do in green the other bit and then b all right now b is over here okay now when you get this sign the intersection sign here Okay, that means you've got to have both types of shading in there. So I'm looking for the bit that is just in here, because this is the bit that's got both bits of shading. Okay, and that is just seven. And I'm going to do a similar thing down here, okay, because I think it helps quite a lot to do this. And if I did it actually with the other one, I should probably have done it with the first one, shouldn't I? So here we go, if I try and do it with the first one as well. Put that, that, and that. Okay, so A, not in A union B. So A union, so it's, it's anything, okay, which is here. It's quite difficult for me to do actually without going over the lines. Oh, I've done all right there. Okay, so anything that's within that shaded bit is what I want. Now then. Here we go, so I want A union B, so there we go, so let's shade A and B, there we go, and next one I want C, okay, and again it's the bits with all the different types of shading, now hold on, I'm going to have to rub out my workings there, so as it asks us to shade, it. so I'm going to have to go, and I'll do it in green, so which bits have got both parts of shading? Because I've got this sign here, this symbol. Okay, and they, this is the bit that has both types of shading here. All right, so I've got that. Now, like I say, it's one mark each. Um, so it, you, in theory, haven't got a lot to do, but it's always worth doing the shading. Shade each separate part of what they're asking you for. And then if you've got uh, this symbol, all right, Oh, geez, that's really badly drawn crumbs. All right, if you've got this symbol here, you shade anything that has any form of shading on. And if you've got this, so that's any, and that, any shading, and this symbol here means you've got to have all types of shading. All right, so that's what to look out for. Um, if, if people want me to do videos on this, uh, I can do. That's fine.